In mathematics, lifting theory was first introduced by John von Neumann in his 1931 pioneering paper answering a question raised by Alfred Haar, followed later by Dorothy Maharam's 1958 paper, and by A. Ionescu Tulcha and C. Ionescu Tulcia's paper. Lifting theory was motivated to a large extent by its striking applications. For its development up to 1969, see the Ionescu Tulsias work and the monograph, now a standard reference in the field. Lifting theory continued to develop after 1969, yielding significant new results and applications. A lifting on a measure space x, sigma, mu is a linear and multiplicative inverse T L infinity x sigma mu L infinity x sigma mu Display style t l caret in a t x sigma mu to math call l caret in a t x sigma mu of the quotient map l infinity x sigma mu l infinity x Sigma mu f f dispel I style begin cases math call L carrot in a T x sigma mu to L carrot in a T x sigma mu f mapsto f end cases where L infinity x Sigma mu display style math call l caret in a t x sigma mu is the seminormed LP space of measurable functions and l infinity x sigma mu display style l caret in a t x sigma mu is its usual normed quotient. In other words, a lifting picks from every equivalence class f of bounded measurable functions modulo negligible functions a representative which is henceforth written t f or t f or simply t f in such a way that t r f plus S G P equals R T F P plus S T G P P element of X R S element of R display style T R F plus S G P equals R T F P plus S T G P Q quad for all P in X R S in Math B F R T F times G P equals T F P times T G P P element of X Display style T F times G P equals T F P times T G P Q quad for all P in X T one equals one 
Display style T one equals one. Liftings are used to produce disintegrations of measures, for instance conditional probability distributions given continuous random variables, and vibrations of Lebesgue measure on the level sets of a function. <laughs> <laughs> Existence of liftings Theorem Suppose x sigma mu is complete. Then x sigma mu admits a lifting if and only if there exists a collection of mutually disjoint integrable sets in sigma whose union is x. In particular, if x sigma mu is the completion of a sigma finite measure or of an inner regular Borel measure on a locally compact space, then x sigma mu admits a lifting. The proof consists in extending a lifting to ever larger sub sigma algebras, applying Dube's martingale convergence theorem if one encounters a countable chain in the process. Topic: Strong liftings. Suppose x sigma mu is complete and x is equipped with a completely regular Hausdorff topology tau sigma such that the union of any collection of negligible open sets is again negligible. This is the case if x sigma mu is sigma finite or comes from a radon measure. Then the support of mu sup mu can be defined as the complement of the largest negligible open subset and the collection C flat x tau of bounded continuous functions belongs to L infinity x sigma mu Display style math call l caret in x sigma mu. A strong lifting for x sigma mu is a lifting t l infinity x sigma mu l infinity x Sigma mu display style t l caret in a t x sigma mu two math call l caret in a t x sigma mu such that t phi equals phi on sup mu for all phi in c flat x tau. This is the same as requiring that two u sup mu for all open sets u in tau. Theorem: If sigma mu is sigma finite and complete, and tau has a countable basis, then x sigma mu admits a strong lifting. Proof: Let T zero be a lifting for x sigma mu and u one u two. A countable basis for tau. For any point p in the negligible set n equals n p element of S u p p mu t zero u n p u n p display style n equals big cup no limits underscore n left p in mathrm sup mu sad face t underscore zero u underscore n p let t p be any character on L infinity x sigma mu that extends the character phi phi p of c flat x tau. Then for p in x and f in l infinity x sigma mu define t f p equals t zero f p p n t p f p element of n. Display style t f p equals begin cases t underscore zero f p and p note an n t underscore p f and p in n end cases t is the desired strong lifting. Topic: Application, disintegration of a measure. 
Suppose x, sigma, mu, y, phi, nu are sigma finite measure spaces mu, nu positive and pi, x y is a measurable map. A disintegration of mu along pi with respect to nu is a slew. Y Y Lambda Y Displaystyle Y Ni Y Mapsto Lambda underscore Y of positive sigma additive measures on X, sigma such that Lambda Y is carried by the fiber Pi minus one Y Display style pi caret minus one y of pi over y y element of phi a n d lambda y x pi minus one y equals zero Y element of Y display style Y in Phi mathem and lambda underscore Y left X set minus pi carrot minus one Y right equals zero Q quad for all Y in Y for every mu integrable function F X F P mu D P equals Y Pi minus one Y F P Lambda Y D P new D Y Display style int underscore x f p mu d p equals int underscore y left int underscore pi caret minus one y f p lambda underscore y d p right new die q quad asterisk in the sense that for new almost all y in y f is lambda y integrable the function y pi minus 1 y f p lambda y d p Display style y mapsto int underscore pi caret minus one y f p lambda underscore y d p is new integrable, and the displayed equality asterisk holds. Disintegrations exist in various circumstances, the proofs varying, but almost all using strong liftings. Here is a rather general result. Its short proof gives the general flavor. Theorem. Suppose X is a Polish space and Y a separable Hausdorff space, both equipped with their Borel sigma algebras. Let μ be a sigma finite Borel measure on X and π, X Y a sigma, phi measurable map. Then there exists a sigma finite Borel measure ν on Y and a disintegration. If μ is finite, ν can be taken to be the push forward π μ, and then the lambda y are probabilities. Proof. Because of the Polish nature of X, there is a sequence of compact subsets of X that are mutually disjoint, whose union has negligible complement, and on which π is continuous. This observation reduces the problem to the case that both x and y are compact and π is continuous, and ν equals π μ. Complete φ under ν and fix a strong lifting T for y, phi, ν. Given a bounded μ measurable function f, let 
f display style l floor f r floor denote its conditional expectation under pi ie the radon nicodym derivative of pi f mu with respect to pi mu then set for every y in y lambda y f equals t f y display style lambda underscore y f equals t l floor f r floor y to show that this defines a disintegration as a matter of bookkeeping and a suitable Fubini theorem. To see how the strongness of the lifting enters, note that lambda y f phi pi equals phi y lambda y f y element of y phi element of c b y f element of l infinity x sigma mu Display style lambda underscore y f c d o t var phi circ pi equals var phi y lambda underscore y f q quad for all y in y var phi in c underscore b y f in l caret in a t x sigma mu and take the infimum over all positive phi in C flat y with phi y equals 1, it becomes apparent that the support of lambda y lies in the fiber over y. 